Hey everybody, welcome back to Weaponized CAD. I'm your host Danny, and today we're talking about page setups. Page setups are how you print or plot or publish your drawings. Now, we've been working in model space down at the bottom here, the model tab, throughout all the videos until this point. You're going to notice you have layout one and layout two. If you click on layout one, it's going to bring up what isn't obvious but it's a sheet of paper essentially so what we're looking at here is this dashed line as the margin of the paper the black background is the actual piece of paper itself now mine's gonna look a little different because in the options video I actually changed a bunch of stuff to black I'm not sure if I mentioned it you can change this to white if you want I prefer to keep it black on the gray background because it makes it stand out nice and I'm looking at all the colors of all the layers that I've changed within my my model space design so to get to the page setup we're gonna right click on layout one and we're going to go to page setup manager it's gonna bring up the page setup manager window our current page current layout is layout one which is listed down here layout one layout two Current page setup is none. So layout one, we're going to click modify. Now let's say we wanted to plot or print or publish exclusively to PDF. Under the printer plotter, we're going to pull down the name. The one that I typically use is AutoCAD PDF general documentation. It works 100% of the time, all the time. I know a lot of people like to use DWG to PDF. This PDF, it's essentially a PDF driver with a .pc3 extension. PC3 is the driver of the printer. So if you had, like, I've got an HP LaserJet 1300 PCL5, that's a driver. Fax is a driver. Canon G600 is a driver. AutoCAD PDF is the same thing. The only difference is it has the PC3 extension on it. So I'm going to click AutoCAD PDF. Just below that, we have the paper size. So right now it's going to default to ANSI Full Bleed A, which is an 8.5 by 11. Let's say we wanted to make this an Arch D, 36 by 24 inches. Now, when people speak of sheet sizes, they typically say 24 by 36. In this case, 36 by 24 is the same thing. We're plotting in landscape, so it's giving us the X first and the Y second. And then the little preview here, we have 36 inches across, 24 inches tall. Plot area, what to plot? We want to plot the layout because the layout is the sheet itself. It's what we're setting up in here right now. If you're doing a quick print, you can change this to display where it's going to print anything that you have zoomed in, zoomed out on the screen. You can change it to the extents of the drawing, which is going to print or plot the whole thing. So if you have outliers way out in space, it's essentially going to print all the way to that top edge. And your design is going to be teeny tiny in the bottom corner. You can also do a window. So let's click window. And it's going to say page setup, specify first corner. Let's say we just needed to do something quick and we needed to plot the title. If we hit preview, it's only going to preview that piece. When we're in the preview, we're going to right click, we're going to hit exit. And the zoom and pan functions with the mouse wheel, pan with where you press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse around, that's the pan. Zoom is mouse wheel in, mouse wheel out. So right now, we're looking at a 36 by 24. We want to change this back to layout. Plot style table is how your layers print. And we haven't gotten to layers yet, so I'm jumping a little bit ahead here. But what I typically do is monochrome. Monochrome, because a laser jet printer is going to be exclusively black, monochrome takes all the different colors and all the different line weights, which we also haven't covered, and it's going to print them at different thicknesses and different 
different screening. Screening is the same thing as shading. So if you think about a black line that's screened, it's going to look more of a gray. Shaded viewport options, I don't typically touch. Quality of normal is fine because it's plotting from PDF, so it's vector to vector, essentially. Plot object line weights and the plot options, I don't typically touch any of this either. Drawing orientation, I only ch touch if I run into a machine where the paper size is 24 by 36 and I need to switch it. I typically leave this as landscape because ArchD 36 by 24 is correct 99% of the time. And the plot scale, don't touch this. The plot scale is a way to take the sheet and scale it through the plot itself, which you don't want to do. So, PDF general documentation, ArchD 24 by 36, what to plot layout, set our plot style table to monochrome, don't touch any of this stuff, don't touch this, don't touch the scale, hit OK. Now, you're going to notice before you close the page setup manager that things are going to shift all over the place. That's OK. We're going to click close. Now, we are looking at what the printer or plotter will plot. So before, this design was right in the middle. We're going to use the move command. We're going to grab this endpoint. Now, unfortunately, you can't snap to this margin line. So just kind of eyeball it. We're going to pull this up to fill the entire sheet. And what we are looking at here, if I double click inside of here, we are in model space. So we're in the paper space layout, but this is a viewport and we're looking at model space. So if I do a zoom extents, Z enter, E enter, it's going to zoom us in to our entire design within model space. If I double click outside of here, now we're in paper space. So if I draw a line out here, and then I double click into model space, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, you have a button that says model. If you double click outside, it changes to paper. If you double click inside, it changes to model. You can also click model, and it throws you back into paper space. You can click paper, and it throws you back into model space. Double clicking inside and outside does the same thing. So this right here, if we look at our prop, we select it and we look at our properties, this is listed as a viewport. If we were to go up to our viewport toolbar and click on the single viewport, it's going to bring up the viewports command. And we were just to double click a window and then we were to move it over. That's the same thing. So we're looking at Model space through this window, single click, model space through this window. The previous video, I went over viewports within model space and said that viewports within paper space work very similar to each other. So let's say we wanted to have, I'm going to use a grip edit there. I'm going to double click inside here. I'm going to double click the mouse wheel to zoom extents. I'm going to double click outside of the viewport. I'm going to use the move command and I'm going to move this viewport in. I'm going to crossing window select it, grab the grip, shrink it down a little bit, double click inside, double mouse wheel click. Let's say we wanted to see our original design in two different views. And if you remember in the viewports, the model space viewports video, I extruded the bat symbol down two feet. This is looking at the southeast isometric. This is looking at the top view. And you can tell by the word top here. View cube shows top. We click in here, southeast isometric. And this is the southeast isometric because it's it has the southeast corner right in the front. So really that's it for page setups. Page setups can be very complicated. But if you, let's say we needed to just jump back and, all right, I have, all I have is a laser printer. Laser printer can only print 8.5 by 11. I'm going to right click on layout 1. I'm going to go to page setup manager again. Layout 1, 
modify AutoCAD PDF general documentation totally fine I'm gonna select the paper size and I'm going to go to I don't even know if I have letter in here ANSI A all the way at the bottom so it's not in alphabetical order unfortunately I'm gonna click ANSI A I'm gonna leave this the way that it is I'm gonna keep it on layout I'm gonna keep it on landscape I'm gonna click OK all right I'm gonna close out of this window and now we're looking at the same two viewports but a much smaller sheet of paper let's scale this down with SC we're gonna pick this endpoint we're just gonna squeeze it in here rip edit just gonna pull it up into the margins I'm going to delete these two objects by crossing window selecting E spacebar or E enter or E right click I'm going to double click into this viewport I'm gonna double click the mouse wheel and I'm gonna double click out of the viewport now we already set up the page itself if you double click on this layout it gives you the ability to change it page one or zero one bat symbol now let's say we wanted to print it you can type print which is the same thing as plot some people prefer to type print or it, it doesn't really matter you can also go up here and hit this button here that's the plot button it's going to bring up the plot window now the plot window is the almost identical to the page setup window the difference is, is that you can't print or plot from the page setup window so you're going to notice that our printer plotter is set AutoCAD PDF it's going to tell us the, the plotter driver it's going to tell us the paper size it's going to ask us what we want to plot it already has our plot style table set to monochrome it's already set to landscape I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to save it to my desktop just like that we have a plotted image now we had a viewport window around our plotted window that viewport window had a layer associated with it and that layer was set to plot now you're gonna notice only the right side of that viewport window actually plotted and the reason is because it was inside of the margin by just a hair whereas the top left and bottom were outside so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna go back in here and if you take a look my viewport did actually land just outside the margins so let's whip around to the corners using the pan and zoom and pull it just inside JIS just inside I'm gonna double click to zoom extents and I'm going to plot again everything is already set I'm going to hit OK I'm just gonna plot straight over top of my previous plot it's gonna ask you do you want to overwrite it in this case I want to always overwrite the plot file I'm gonna click yes and I'm gonna pull it back over and there it is these are the margins just barely inside the margins because the viewport is set to a plottable layer when we get to layers which is also going to be a very boring video I'm gonna show you guys techniques to set specific layers to never plot so anything you draw on that layer can be construction information that you never want to show up in a print or a plot or a publish in this case for the purpose of setting up this sheet I just wanted to show this viewport is just inside the margins so it's going to plot if it were just outside you wouldn't even see it close this and that's pretty much it page setup is as simple as right clicking on your layout going to page setup you can click new you can set up a brand new one let's just say weaponized CAD hit OK and it's gonna bring us to the same page setup AutoCAD PDF ANSI A 8.5 by 11 what to plot layout 
scale is fine. All of that's fine. So if I double click that, it's going to set that as my current page setup. I'm going to click close and nothing's going to change because I didn't change anything about the page setup. All I did was created a new one with the same settings. So when we get into annotative scaling, that's when page setup, page layout, layout tabs is going to get absolutely bananas. And it's going to be a little bit harder to follow than something like this. I wanted to give you guys a bite-sized piece, how to set up a sheet. If I wanted to, I could plot this directly to a laser printer. I plotted it directly to a PDF. It's super simple, and this is it. So thanks for coming, guys. This is Weaponized Cat. I'm your host, Danny. See you guys in the next one.